All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, what we're gonna tie today, this is another wet fly, super easy fly to tie. Uh, it's got a couple different names. It's been called the hackle fly. It's been called Stewart spider. Uh, what it's known by today is uh, partridge and green. This fly can be tied in a size four through a 12. Um, thread that we're tying with today, this is um, Danville's Flymaster waxed in 6.0 uh, for the body. We'll be tying with four strand Raylon uh, from Danville. And for the hackling fibers, what we'll be using, this is where it, it gets a lot of its name. Uh, we'll be using uh, feathers from uh, Hungary and Partridge. We're gonna take the feathers that have this gray speckle to them. Those are the ones that we really want. All right, we're gonna come in behind the eye. Take a couple catching wraps. Now this fly has been around for a long time. Uh, it continues to take fish. The first mention of this fly was uh, around you know, 1496, it was in a book written by a fly fishing lady uh, named Dame Juliana. Uh, you can check it out. It's a pretty good book. I actually have that book. We're going to catch in our body material. Start working our way down. Open up our thread. We open it up our thread so that we keep a uniform body, but at the same time, we'll use that open thread to help thicken this fly up a little bit. Working our way back up. I'm gonna take good touching turns. Like I said, there's not a whole lot to this. This fly is normally tied on a 2X heavy wire, um, just so it can get down. If you fish this and it's working good for you, uh, nothing says you can't come in and add a little weight to it. best about about making your own flies is you can tend to do whatever you want with them all right let's catch in our Hungarian here come in strip off this fuzzy stuff we don't need it you're gonna want to measure uh, you pull this down 90 degrees give you an idea of how far back this hackle is gonna go um, we don't want it to go too much um, past the bend of that hook. If it goes into it a little, it's okay, but uh, for the most part, you wanna kinda stop it off. You can tie this in one of two ways. You can tie it in um, by the front and go forward and tape your cone to the front, or you can tie it in by the tip and work your way out. You'll probably end up tying this one in by the tip. This will help flare out that collar just a little bit. I'm going to pull that all to the rear, so it's got this look right here. Uh, this is another uh, viewer request. Um, you guys are keeping me pretty busy, wanting to see flies. A lot of flies I haven't seen in a while. Um, I don't swing a whole lot of wet flies anymore, but this is definitely one of the patterns that's been proven. Pull everything to the rear, catch that in. Take a couple wraps. Come in with our hackle plier. We're gonna, this is where it gets kind of tricky because you can break this stem off and then you'll have to do it again. You wanna pull all these fibers to the back and as you're pulling them back, you're gonna start making your wraps. Nice wraps right in front of each other, pulling them back as you go. You can kind of see why this has been called a spider fly. Nice touch and turns. Catch that in. And clean that out. Take a look at it. Looks pretty good. Pull everything to the back and build her head. If you guys got anything you want to see, uh, don't forget to leave it in the description below or just message me. Uh, you guys go over Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us over there. 
you guys won't be missing anything because most of you guys that follow me there are already subscribers. Really appreciate you guys that do tune in uh, when we do release new stuff. Really appreciate it. We'll come in. Couple whip finishes. Trim that out. Make sure there's not a clog in it this time so I don't get it everywhere like I did last night. There we go. Come in and hit it with the lot. This is a great fly. You can rib this fly. You can add weight to it. You can just really make it your own. Um, this is a, definitely a legend in, in the wet flies, for sure. Hope you guys enjoy this fly. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, I've already told you guys to go over there and check us out on our other social media platforms. Um, hopefully you enjoy this fly. Put it in your box. Give it a try. Or tighten a bigger version and uh, just put it in a frame. It's one of those other flies that's real easy to look at. Uh, thanks for uh, the subscriber that requested to see this fly. It's a super easy fly to tie. We'll add this to our beginner series. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Give it a tie. And until next time, tight lines.